Okay, here's a quick tutorial on using a new feature in Logic X uh, called Stacks uh, with your tracks. This is just basically a, a type of summing uh, that you can do, but it's also a way uh, for you to do multi-layered uh, software instruments. So, uh, you know, check this out. Here's this uh, great new orchestral essentials. <laughs> Right, it's just got awesome sounds and based on kind of the concept of building multi-layered sounding orchestral instruments on the low end of my keyboard, low piano, timpani, low brass hits. As you keep moving up, you just get into the string articulations and high brass. And that's really what they're doing in this program and it's become wildly popular. Uh, well, the thing is that everyone's got the same full orchestra action pack. And uh, I, we can do better than this in Logic now. This is quite cool. So the concept is going to be using uh, choosing your instrument sounds. In this case, I'm using some pretty fantastic uh, third-party plugins for my horns. I've got the uh, Cinebrass. Pro, Cinebrass samples. I'm using some uh, elite orchestral percussion from Vir2 from my percussion. I've got LA scoring strings from Audio Bro. Awesome sounding string library. So if you own this kind of stuff, uh, you can start making your own multi-layered software instruments that just rock. I've just put together a quick demo here have not hardly tweaked at all uh, and just let me show you what i'm doing i'm using the same kind of concept that orchestral essentials uh, is using in other words uh, for the timpani patch i'm going over here into the channel strip and i'm limiting the key limit to just a perfect fit from c1 to g1 timpani's not going to play above this g1 so when I'm playing up higher on the keyboard, I'm not getting those wanky sounding timpani hits. I'm also doing that same kind of programming uh, for uh, a lot of the other instruments. The piano, I've got key limited. Uh, the brass, trumpets, French horn. And some of these third-party plugins already come with some kind of key limit. They, they also typically come with some mod wheel functionality. <laughs> So I'm using the mod wheel to provide more articulation, and that uh, also coincides with uh, the velocity that you hit your controller keys at uh, also. So just a whole bunch of programming that you can get into here. So here's the basic idea. Once you have your sounds chosen, you simply shift-click them and select them. And I'm not going to include orchestral essentials here. Right-click on this group and go down to the Create Track Stack. And you're gonna get two options, uh, Folder Stack and Summing Stack. I'm just gonna work with Summing Stack today. Look at for Folder Stack another time. I'm Say Create. And it basically creates an AUGS. If you look in your mixer, uh, the outputs of my instrument tracks went to this bus one. And it's this summing one track that is, uh, the input is set to bus one here. So now this track has all my sounds. essentials in my little mess. Okay, now in addition to this, another feature that 
you were able to do in Logic 9 uh, using folders, you can do right here on this sum track. Uh, check this out. I'm just going to play a, a, a little improvised pattern, and I'm going to use a feature called transpose, where I'm just going to transpose the region up and down, something like this. I'll quantize that really quick. Okay, so the concept is now, I'm just gonna take this region, option drag it down the timeline. So with these two separate regions in the arrange window now, I can transpose this second region up by half steps by just using this transpose feature here. Most people are used to using the octave transposition. You can click in this gray area where it looks like there's nothing happening and drag up and move up in half steps. I'll just move this up a minor third and you get this kind of result. Just really great for inspiration, finding some sort of harmonic groove and uh, transposing it up and down, finding uh, where it sits best. Great for scoring the picture, all that kind of stuff. Scratching the surface here, but uh, there's a feature that I just love in this new Logic X.